Today we will have a look at the technology and UIL programs, a student-led Super Bowl commercial, along with an interview with some of the varsity basketball players. These stories and more on the February 15th edition of The Wind News. Good afternoon, I'm Cassidy Marin. And I'm Kaden Ritchie. Archer City High School has a great technology program. Here with more are Serenity Jones and Kate Fletcher. I think that the technology program in Archer City is definitely a notch above the rest. Um, we're one-to-one -one with Chromebooks, which a lot of schools have gone to, but I've noticed while visiting other schools that we tend to have more technology in the classrooms that teachers utilize on a regular basis. I feel the technology in Archer is very up-to-date and really advanced compared to some schools. I am the technology director, which just means that I'm in charge of anything that has to do with technology. So um, that goes anywhere from making sure that the internet is running, which Mr. Guidry helps with a ton, um, to any of the devices that students have in their hands, like Chromebooks, um, all the document cameras, printers, Thanks girls. Last Saturday, students attended the UIL Invitational Meet and Holiday. In editorial writing, Juan Alba plays first, Lauren Connor second, and Madeline Tedro sixth. In headline writing, Corey Keeter plays first, and Lauren Connor third. In news, Juan Alba plays fourth, in persuasive speaking, Chloe Hibbs was fifth, and in informative speaking, Jocelyn Tedro was sixth. The journalism students placed first as a team. Zach Allen and Trent Howarth looked more into the UIL program. Students are preparing for the UIL district meet. The reason why I joined UIL was because I really wanted to try it out again. It was, I've been doing it since seventh grade and I really like doing it. Um, the benefits that I got from it was that it really helps me out on my learning skills. I joined UIL because someone had to be the smart friend of the group. And some of the benefits I've had from UIL is being able to hang out with friends and have actually doing what I like in the UIL competition. Participating in UIL has other benefits. With UIL, um, I think all students should take part in it. Um, there are lots of great things you can learn as part of um, competing in UIL. Just being able to um, get up in front of people, whether you're doing a speaking event or going into a contest um, where it's a written contest and just having confidence and learning how to handle yourself under pressure. This is Zach Allen and Trent Howarth reporting for Win News. Thanks guys. Anyone wanting to sign up for cheer or mascot, the sign up sheet is in the front office. The deadline is February 23rd with a mandatory parents meeting on the 26th at 6. Time is running out to help spread joy and kindness by sending a kindness gram to your teachers, friends, or your whole class. Tomorrow is the final day to purchase grams, which will be delivered tomorrow as well. Each gram will include a lollipop. See the front office to purchase. Cast and crew of the One Act Play. Practice tonight will be from 5 to 7 or 7.30. Monday's practice will be from 9.30 to 11.30. Yearbooks are now on sale through February 29th. You can get one for $40 or $45 with the name on the cover. Please see Ms. Cox to purchase them or order them online at jostensyearbooks.com. The Wildcats of the Week are Faith Frankie and Hannah Krennic for planting flowers in front of the elementary and high school. That was nice of them. Seniors, if you haven't been accepted to college, please send your pic or stop by for Ms. Graham to take your photo with your acceptance letter. Now here's another one of our versions of the Super Bowl commercial. Oh sweet, a Kit Kat. Dude, I've always wanted one of these. This tastes good. Is that my Kit Kat? No, dude. I just found it. No, it's mine. I put it down there. Let's play pig fork then. Alright. I mean, we can still split it, though, if you want to. 
Thanks, man. Just one because you lost, though. Yeah. That makes me want to kick cat. Me too. Now to the sports corner. I'm Zach Allen. The JV boys basketball finished their season on Tuesday against Nocona. The varsity boys have advanced to the playoffs. Jonathan Clay sat down with two of the players to ask about their preparation. Today I am here with senior Lakin Cagle and junior Landon Smith. So tell me, how are you all preparing for y'all's first playoff game? Uh, we're preparing by uh, watching a lot of film and getting a bunch of shots up, trying to improve our shot percentages. Oh, that's good. So Landon, tell me, how do y'all expect the game to go? Um, I mean, we've, we haven't really looked into Holly yet. I mean, we're looking into him today, so. Does that include watching film? Yeah, we're watching film on him, but there's a, there's no way to say how the game is going to come out. Mm. Just, just how we're going to play. So, Lakin, tell me, uh, how do you, how far do y'all expect to go in playoffs? Uh, at least past the first round. I think we can beat Holly. They're playing back-to-back -back games this week. They're playing Friday, and then they'll play us Monday. Uh, Landon, uh, what do y'all know about Holly? Uh, they got, they don't really have size to them. So what we've heard is that they're like, they got a couple guys that are like 5'6", and then they got like a 6'3", dude. But other than that, like, we match up well against them, so. It's a, uh, we just kind of got lucky for our first round, especially as a fourth seed, but we're a pretty dangerous fourth seed, so I'm just pretty excited to go into the playoffs. Uh, does them being a number one seed in their district frighten you a little? No. No, I'm not scared of anything. Not scared of anybody. All right, well, thank y'all for being here with us, and uh, yep. good luck to you in the playoffs. Thanks. The Wildcats will play Holly at 7.30 p.m. Monday in Breckenridge. The theme for the game is construction as the boys are preparing to go to work. The girls' powerlifting team will compete tonight in Owl Park in their last meet before the region, regional tournament. The varsity softball team had their first scrimmage against Seymour and pulled an 11 to nothing win. They will play in Bowie at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Good luck to all the wild, Lady Cats and Wildcats. Thanks, Zach. That's it for this edition of the Wind News. Have a great rest of the week, Archer City.